Hey guys, I've received a few questions about my live lesson recording setup. So I wanted to show you the technology that I use and how I use it. Let me spin this around and I can show you my desk and all the gear here that I'm using. Um, here's my iPad, which is doing most of the work. This is what I'm going to be writing on. And I use the, uh, the Apple Pencil to write notes, which then get displayed to my students. We'll come back to that one in a second. Here's my phone, which I use to record my face. Let's actually switch it on right now and uh, switch to video and then turn around. Hello, there we go. So this is recording my face and I'll stitch those two videos together, the one from here and the one from the iPad. And I've created a video that shows how that's done, but I haven't shown how I actually record that and broadcast it live as well, which is what this extra piece of equipment is for. So I use my laptop as well. And now I'm gonna show you how this all fits together. So if we open this up and gonna log into that, ta-da. Okay, the first thing you'll notice is, I'm gonna come a bit closer forward now. Um, I've got my phone set up in a very particular spot there. It's kind of close, it's hard to see because it's, uh, it's black, but there's the webcam on my laptop and that's going to be what I want to look at so that my students can see me live and there is the camera for my recording so that I'm looking at these in roughly the same spot so I can't see myself but I don't need to be able to do that I just want to be looking in roughly the same direction then uh, like I mentioned before I've got my iPad over here so let's position my face so it unlocks there we go, okay. Now, this is what I'm writing on and I want this to be actually broadcasting to my students as well. So rather than log onto this directly um, and you know, perhaps broadcast through Zoom or Google Hangouts or something like that, that's why I have this cable here so that I can both record and broadcast. So let me show you how I do that. Um, I'm going to just real quick uh, pop this onto a stand over here so that I have both of my hands. Okay, and let's let's move this around a little bit so you can see the screen more clearly and uh, Not have too many reflections. All right, so let's zoom in a little bit Okay, so before I zoom in all the way so you can see the screen very clearly I just want to point out this cable over here. This is a USB-C to USB-C type cable on the other end Let me just push that iPad closer into view. So with these two connected I can actually get the image from my iPad straight onto my laptop So let me show you how I do that. Let's come in a bit closer. I reckon I should go down a bit and angle that. Okay, I'm reasonably happy with that. All right, now I'm gonna use a few different apps here which I will show you. So firstly, to get the iPad screen up, here's QuickTime. Now, QuickTime, most people are used to using QuickTime for playing things, but you can actually, up here in uh, file, you can start movie recordings, audio recordings, or screen recordings. Um, the screen recording option there, that's to record what's on my MacBook screen, but I actually don't want um, the entire screen. I just want the iPad. So that's why uh, you can see by default, if you start a new movie recording, um, it will tend to use the uh, webcam there. So you can see this FaceTime HD camera. If I shuffle that back over to myself, Ta-da, there's me. Okay, so lots of views of myself. That's that's enough of that. I don't actually want to record using that webcam. I wanna go um, down here next to the record button. There's a little arrow down there and I can switch that if I'm connected by a wire. Um, I can switch that to iPad. So I'm gonna go back to that. Okay, it takes a second to register. Okay, so I've got my iPad showing and I'm actually going to um, come out of that for a second. New movie recording. There we go. All right. So um, I've got my iPad screen here. Let me swing that around and it looks sharp again. So what I can do at this point here is I can hit record. In fact, I will do that right now. So if I hit record here, you can see now um, the timer has started. It shows you how big the file is going to be. And now whatever it is that I do here on the screen, if I, uh, is my Apple Pencil connected? It's not, so let's just connect that. Ta-da, okay. So if I write some stuff here, or if I maybe highlight some stuff on screen, that's a terrible combination of colors, but <laughs> you get the idea. Um, everything that I'm doing on my iPad is being recorded directly onto my computer, onto this hard drive, okay? So I'm not using the built-in screen recording function there. When you are plugging in your iPad so it's viewable on the screen like this, you can't do the screen recording. If I just swipe uh, from the control center, um, you can actually see if you look closely that the 
screen recording option right there, it's grayed out because it can't do both at the same time. So this screen, um, my iPad is being recorded. And then what I'll do is I'll come over to Microsoft Teams. That's what my school is using um, to get students to watch live and you know receive lessons. So if I open up to Microsoft Teams, it's a little test class that I've got here. Um, down here, um, beneath the start a new conversation bar, there's that little icon that says meet now. So if I say meet now, and um, just switch that on. Okay, fantastic. So um, it's using my camera uh, in Microsoft Teams. And uh, yes, I'm unmuted, that's fine. I don't, I don't need to hear anything. What I wanna do now in Microsoft Teams is I'm gonna hit share here. And you can see I have all of the different screens on my computer that are open, which I can use. Now, the screen that I wanna share is this uh, iPad screen over here, which is coming through the cable through QuickTime. So if I hit that, um, now, right now, um, what whoever's in this meeting is going to see this. So, um, if I come back to Microsoft Teams, um, my screen is being shared. Um, I'm also visible in the webcam. Um, I'm not going to look at myself doing that though. Um, I'm going to look at myself actually writing and saying, oh, you know, this is a really handy uh, result here. So, I might say, oh, this is, uh, I can say, uh, E to the log x equals x. Okay, that's interesting, cool. All of that, um, it's good to go. My students can see that on the screen, just like as if I were, you know, showing them PowerPoint slides or something like that. And now let's fast forward in time. Let's suppose this lesson is over. So, you know, I'm going to be having a look in the Microsoft Teams window to be able to interact with my students. They'll, you know, we don't have them um, speaking live because there's like 80 of them at the same time. So that's a bit confusing. Um, what we'll do is they'll, they'll enter into the chat. They'll type something. Um, that's how I know they're responding to questions. When the lesson is finished, I can then, well, I can, I can hang up. I can say, done. Lesson is over, so I don't need Microsoft Teams anymore. Um, I can go here and I can say stop on this screen recording. And now I have, I can play back everything that I did just now. There's my smiley face. Um, all of that, I can put this video together with the one that was recorded on my phone just over there. I didn't actually start the recording, but you get the idea. I've got a file from this screen recording, uh, from this camera recording, I should say, that's my face. Um, I've got this file right here, which is my screen, and then I stitch them together either with iMovie um, or with Final Cut Pro or any other editing software that you've got available. So this setup is how I simultaneously record my screen and also broadcast my screen so that I can deliver a lesson live. Hope that's helpful to you guys.